Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and this is the last game we're covering. This is Sydney 2000 for the Dreamcast. Now, I do want to warn you, there's a lot of glitchy graphics, so if you are sensitive to epileptic seizures, don't watch this episode. So, tune in tomorrow if so, but otherwise, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and we're actually running Dreamcast simulation here, which I was going to do PlayStation. But I had no idea this game actually exists on the Dreamcast, apparently. And so I figure we might as well do it on the Dreamcast instead. Let's go ahead and skip the intro, though. And the music, uh... Well, it is Dreamcast emulation. It's still in the early of uh, things. So, uh... Yeah. Alright, I think it's finally caught up with what we're doing here. So, uh... Yeah, this is Sydney 2000. This is actually the last game that we're officially covering for this um depending on how it goes of course but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try we're gonna play us and a yeah it works for us okay let's go ahead and check out the events here so we have a number numerous events here we got the sprints hurdles javelin hammer uh, triple jump, high jump, skate shooting, freestyle swimming, platform diving, which I guess is just a high dive, uh, super heavyweight weightlifting, cycling, and slalom, which looks like it's a, uh, uh, yeah, kayak. Okay. So let's, uh, give it a try here, people. Let's, uh, use the power buttons to build power and the action button to dip for the line. Uh, quite glitchy. <laughs> but, uh... Looks okay, otherwise. I'm not sure what the button things are here. Oh, we got to rapidly tap the alternating uh, A and B buttons. Okay, there we go. We're actually getting a pretty good run. We might actually get last place. Well, we still did, kind of, but <laughs> now that we know how it works. Uh, wow, this simulator is pretty wonky. I guess this game is not high on the priority of the... People designing the emulator. This is no DC I'm using, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, let's see. So I guess let's check out the 100 meter, 110 meter hurdles. Uh, I'm not sure what the. the spectators await the start of the men's hurdle final. Yeah. Oops, I pressed the button. I think. Yeah. <laughs> See, I ran off before the gun even fired. That's damaging to their concentration. Whoopsie. There we go. All right, how do we jump? Okay, you gotta press up, I think. No, I'm just jumping over it. Okay. How do I jump then? <laughs> I just, I don't get it. <laughs> oh shoot. I mean, it runs pretty good speed-wise. It's just uh, a little bit on the glitchy side still. Maybe there's some stuff I can do. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Give me a, just a bit. Let me see if we can correct that. I don't. I don't know if we can. We'll see. Nah, it doesn't look like we can actually. Oh well. We'll just deal with the glitchy graphics. I mean, we can kind of more or less imagine what this game is supposed to look like. Just imagine all this flashy shit at the bottom is not supposed to be there on actual Dreamcast. And yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff's going to be on the actual Dreamcast game, people. There we go. Throw it. Well, if she threw it over the... If she would throw the thing. <laughs> all right. No throw. All right, let's try it again. And next up for us is player one. Fail. I think I guess it's a freaking instant replay. They really want to show it up on us, don't they? Holy crap. Get out of that. Quit, please. <laughs> I really would have liked to get the PlayStation emulator to work, but every PlayStation emulator I've tried has just crashed whenever I tried to load the game. And imagine this, a Dreamcast emulator, which is not nearly as functional is the one that works. Logic, right? Oh, wow. The graphics really don't agree with this one. Holy crap. 
Yeah, I'm sure that uh, gate is not supposed to look like that at all. And next up for us is player one. All right, let's do this. See how the controls work. Row the hammer, baby. Into the cage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's freaking hilarious, dude. Well, let's try that again. That was hilarious. <laughs> Into the cage. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's try it again. Wait, I, I can't try it again? It's like, oh, you play this one time. You're, you're done, son. <laughs> Maybe it's coaching I need to do. Yeah, okay, this is what we want to do. This is the practice mode. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's do this. Do it, baby! Get the hammer, throw in! Oh, yeah, you gotta... Oops. You gotta go the right direction, too, I suppose. How's a no-throw? Holy glitches, Batman. Okay. Try it again. Stop! This game doesn't know what it's trying to do. <laughs> All right, let's just try the triple jump. I mean, the hammer throw seems functional, but I I'd probably need to play an actual Dreamcast. Holy crap. Fortunately, I don't have this game to try it. Okay, let's jump, mother... Yeah, none of these games have a good triple jump event, dude. I think triple jump is just kind of like... Yeah, this emulator's jacked up. It doesn't know what it's trying to do, man. It, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Welcome. Let's try the high jump on this one. Welcome to the women's high jump. Good rhythm and timing are required... Okay, let's see how you do the high jump, Sega. Dreamcast. Let's do this, people. Woo! Running through epilepsy. Damn! We actually made it first try. Holy crap. I don't know what we did, but it worked. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Oh, this is the replay, actually. Okay, well, it, it kind of functioned. I mean, I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time with this because it's so wonky playing, but let's try the skeet shooting. Let's well, see how it goes. Okay. The graphics seem like they're mostly functional in this one. So that's kind of... Well, I, I said that too soon, obviously. Okay. Well, holy shit, dude! Holy crap! Sorry! Okay, I guess it's the right trigger that shoots, I don't know. That crosshair is really laggy. I'm gonna have to chalk it up for the emulator, but I don't know. Why didn't you fire, dude? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was a good round. This is like an actual ski event. Like, you actually move around and shit like that. This is, I guess, more accurate than the others. It's definitely nothing like the original track and field ski shooting. It's like rapid fire machine gun ski shooting, is what they should have called that event. Nice! So you're supposed to use the A button. Okay. Load that shotgun, a bitch. Crap. What was I doing in those situations where you get, like, whatever? This one actually plays pretty good, though. I'm kind of impressed. Ah, crap. 
I don't know what we're supposed to do in those sequences where there's two of them, though. That's... There we go. You don't have to be super precise, either, which is good. Nice! Okay, well this is at least one thing that, other than, you know, like, the graphics being totally fucked up. It's got a good skeet shooting event, so we'll have to give it that. Okay, come on. Dang it. Stop it! Yeah. I'm sure the PlayStation emulator would have worked a lot better if I could have got it to work properly. Crap. I was too fast. Okay, now we got the last one, I guess. Dang it. I'm way too fast. Oh, I had three shells I could have used. Actually. Nope. It's like you don't shoot unless you actually line up properly. I don't know. Dang. Okay, well, that was skeet shooting. That was the most fun event we've had so far in this one. It was actually decent enough to look past the uh, glitches. <laughs> Unlike the others. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's do this. Take your marks. Okay, swim, baby, swim! I'm not sure what all you're supposed to do here, but... Rapidly tapping buttons seems to do something. But, yeah, it doesn't seem like it does a whole lot, man. Holy crap. You have to really... <laughs> this is unlike the other swimming events. This is... More or less just a different version of the dash. Except it's over a longer and more sustained period of time, because you have to do it a lot longer in the pool, man. And the American flag changed there for some reason. Okay, man, I really want to try more Dreamcast emulation. Maybe I didn't pick the best emulator. I, Like I said, I picked Null DC. I tried to use Recast with Retroarch, but it just kept crashing, so... Uh, yeah, so that was uh, the freestyle swimming there. Uh, really a bare bones, surprisingly, compared to some of the other ones, although it functioned at least. So uh, let's check out the diving. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. I wish this would have been on, like, the N64. I could have easily got an N64 emulator to work good. Um, let's try a front forward dive. Yeah, let's just try it, because I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. She dived in the water. Congratulations. So there was like a target thing I noticed. We need to... I guess do something with that. I, I have no idea, man. Apparently I gotta... Wait, hold on. That's not my scores. No, well, that was mine. Holy crap. Apparently, that was a good dive, according to the game. <laughs> Alright, let's try something else in. Arm stand forward, somersault. Somersault pikes. Let's try it. I have no idea how to try it, but... Holy crap, this is fancy. 
They're actually jumping off the diving board that way? Like, holy crap. Oh, okay, those are supposed to symbolize the buttons on the Dreamcast. Like, you're supposed to press the color buttons of the Dreamcast. Okay, let's try that again. It's actually been a while since I've uh, played on a proper Dreamcast controller, so I forgot what the actual button was for the blue. Let's check it out here. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I've got it now. Okay. Let's try that again. Nice! Ace that, I think. Yeah, I did pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that's probably honestly the best diving event we've covered from any of these games, dude. Because it actually, it's simple and it just makes sense. It doesn't have like a bunch of bullshit like the other diving events did. Okay, let's check out the weightlifting. The only other one we had that did weightlifting was the Capcom one. Let's see how it compares to that. Okay, so we're doing 150 kilogram. Okay, get it. Not sure what we're supposed to do there. Oh, oh okay, you gotta press a different button. Okay, got it. Now we gotta maintain, I guess. There we go. Keep it up there. That diving event worked pretty good. So basically, you rapidly tapped the uh, A and B buttons and you hit X to uh, pick it up while you're doing that. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's try uh, something a little bit heavier. Let's try 170. Might as well. So yeah, this one, probably best to have your Dreamcast controller on a flat surface. Oh man, you gotta really, uh, come on, come on. Yeah, pick that ish up. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Pretty simple uh, weightlifting event. Um, nothing real fancy or crazy, uh, so I kind of like that one, actually. All right. And that one actually had somewhat acceptable graphics performance, unlike the other events we played, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we got cycling now. Uh, we covered cycling, I think, in Summer Games 2. Um, it was okay in that. I mean, it wasn't, like, awesome, but it was... Pretty functional. So let's see how this one compares. Okay, so this one apparently, I think it's rapidly tapping. I don't know if there's more to it than that. I guess there is because I'm losing momentum here. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what happened there. Is this still me I'm playing as right here or? Uh, yeah, uh, the controls are definitely different here. I'm not sure what that bar symbolizes. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. The bar is symbolizing my stamina. Okay, gotcha. You are just rapidly tapping and then you... Okay, I guess it sort of makes sense. Um, yeah. Stop it. Stop it! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what should all choose between the two. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and do the slalom now. Apparently it's got demo, arcade, and open trials. Let's just try demo, I guess. Use left and right to steer the kayak. Okay, this might be interesting, actually. Oh, that's actually... Okay, never mind. Let's do arcade, then. Apparently, I was just explaining what we're supposed to do. Okay, so A goes back, I suppose. Let's go backwards, people. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's really weird controls, man. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man! I missed a gate, though. Ah, oh, jeez. Wrong way through the gate. Oh, okay. Well, how is it supposed to tell? Oh, because it's red, I guess. It's actually got some weird 
water physics. They're sort of realistic feeling, but... I don't know if I like the control scheme of it, man. It's just really goofy feeling. Okay. So this one we gotta go backwards through, I guess. Well, let's just do that. Yep. Might as well go through the gate again since we don't... Stop it! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. That didn't work out very good. Gosh! That... Freaking rapids, dude. Can I use this way, or do I have to go through the other side? Oh, bastard. Okay. Alright, so you actually do have to go past it and then go in reverse, I suppose. For those. That's what worked for me, at least. There we go. Holy crap, man. These rapids are crazy. Okay. So this one will be a little bit tricky to navigate here. I think we can do it. Come on, get back. Get back. Ah! Get back there. Okay, good, good. Man, I thought I lost grip there. Come on, get, move forward. <laughs> crap, crap, I missed it. Can I go back? Okay, you can hold the button, I guess. I, I don't know. Actually, I'm not too sure about that. No. Wrong way through the gate. Okay, never mind. We missed that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the gate 20 here and go in reverse. There we go. Did it say wrong way through the gate anyways? Like... I got punished even though I already went through it properly. Okay, whatever. <laughs> didn't do too very, didn't do too very well. Didn't do too well there. Um, it took a little while to get used to the controls, but uh, I guess we can see clearly. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's my ghost. Okay, so I can actually redo and outdo my ghost, which was clearly very terrible at this. Crap. But yeah, that's enough of that. Okay, so that was Sydney 2000, guys, uh, for the Sega Dreamcast. It's also available on the PlayStation 1. I'm sure they're pretty identical. The Sega version will look better and smoother. That's probably about the only difference, I would imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is, like I said, the very last game. Uh, so the next episode that you guys are going to see is actually a closing ceremony. I hope to see you there. It's going to be like a comparison of all of these games that we've covered. And we're going to award medals for each one of them in various events. So hope to see you guys there. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.